Hey guys, just a quick update. I've been working, I finished with paratroopers today, just thought I'd show you them. Done the base work on them. Sort of three three different um, colours of bushes and some different colour again of static grass. I don't know if I've gone a bit too far with the amount of colours on there. I'm not sure I'm entirely happy with them but they look quite good. So that's all the British forces finished now in this open fire box set by British and American forces. This is the, one of the fireflies. I've showed you these before. There you go. One of the Shermans. There you go. Um, also, I've been working on my here it is. I'm working on the typhoon. It can go on there properly. Just at a prime stage, done the base. Um, what I use on this base is this Vallejo grey pumice stuff. I find it's quite good. It does give a lot of a brush or a or a modelling tool or something. It does give a quite clumpy finish, which I quite like. But I mean, if you want a bit more of a smooth finish, then you're better off using, you know, using glue and a dip message and a tub of sand. You get a much cleaner finish. But I quite like the the clumpy finish with this stuff. So I had a problem when I was priming this. One of the rocket sets fell off, which says a lot for my modelling. So I reattached them, used a bit of zip kicker and it mount my zip kicker mounted the paint, so that's a bit of a lesson learnt there. So what I've done is just put a bit more paint on. I think I'm gonna bake that on the radiator for twenty four hours and hopefully that it go rock hard again because it'd gone all chewy, all the paint had gone all horrible and chewy, which is not very good for trying to sand it down. But I just think I'll give that twenty four hours on the radiator and hopefully I'll be able to get a bit of sandpaper on that and then a little bit of, back, bit of primer back on again and sort of finish that so that hopefully will help and also I've just been started on the crew for the pack 24s pack 40s so all I've done with these is just a coat of primer then a coat of um, of um, German field grey which is actually field green but god knows so I always try and get the biggest colour down with the airbrush first just to save time and get a nice smooth even coat. So that's how they're getting on. A few more of those there. So that's the crew for these. I mean I could carry on and finish these but until I get my decals from my stugs, you know, I'll sort of do a batch. I'll do these, finish these along with my stugs in a sort of batch process. But I don't need decals to finish these but I'm just waiting. I'll do them all at the same time. I do like these. You see this is the same stuff I've used on the base here, that, that pumice is quite a sort of clumpy patchy look. I quite like it. So I'll obviously put that down and let it dry before I attach the guns. Because you know, trying to put that on once the guns are on there would have been a pain in the ass. So uh, that's what I've been working on this afternoon and this evening. So okay, see you later guys.